Well, Merry Christmas, or the day after Merry Christmas. Uh, maybe you can notice uh, I'm in uh, Times Square, New York City, which is uh, a little busy right now. There's only about a few hundred thousand, maybe half a million people walking the streets, doing after Christmas shopping, doing some visiting. Uh, but really what I wanted to talk about is something that's been in the news lately, and that is uh, the first and second brightest star in the constellation of Orion, a red supergiant called Betelgeuse. Now, Betelgeuse has made the news recently because it's reached a historic low in its brightness. It's a variable star. It varies between uh, zero degrees magnitude and 1.3 degrees uh, plus magnitude. But it's gotten really low. And why it's made the news, nobody knows. Somebody started it, and it's now catching all over social media and such. And it's even made the New York Post as, you know, what, what the hell is going on? This thing's going to supernova. We haven't had a supernova in our galaxy since... 1604, and the one before that was 1054, and that was archived by the uh, Chinese astronomers and also in uh, uh, European. They made the Crab, the Crab Nebula, which is uh, very famous, and, and during that time in 1054, it lit up the sky at night, and there were shadows cast like a full moon, and it was even visible in the daylight. So, everyone's waiting in anticipation for that super red giant that you see in Orion that we all know, the most prominent constellation, to just blow up, and if it blows up, it's going to be a sight to see that everyone can see day and night for many, many days. So, but uh, this year's study of it, that it's going to happen anywhere from 100,000 years from now to a million years from now. But that doesn't mean it can't happen today or tomorrow. And uh, some people think that's it. So we'll just see. Maybe it's just a sense, a sixth sense that it is going to blow. But it's something that we've all been looking forward to. And uh, I'll let you uh, uh, notice what's behind me.